Introducing Sky Cruise, a nuclear-powered hotel suspended above the clouds. This futuristic hotel gives you the most ultimate travel experience. The internet is exploding with a video depicting grand plans for a futuristic floating hotel that is big enough to accommodate over 5,000 people and stay in the air forever if you want to risk around the Earth. Its sleek design as a huge jet resembles a cross between a space station and a massive cruise ship floating above the clouds, experiencing the epitome of luxury. Sky Cruise features a big hall that offers a 360-degree view of your surroundings. Here, you get to enjoy the most breathtaking views of nature from above. Welcome to Mega Luxury! Before we begin, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss amazing videos from us. Let's hop into this thriving aircraft we would have only dreamt of. An elevator connects the panoramic hall to the main entertainment deck. It allows you to easily shuttle between two locations. The main entertainment deck is perfect for recreational activities. It features shopping malls, sports centers, swimming pools, restaurants, bars, playgrounds for children, theaters, and cinemas. There is also a separate section for organizing events and business meetings. If you want to declare your love above the clouds, Sky Cruise's wedding halls give you and your partner along with your guests a unique memorable experience. It is positioned as a leisure vacation destination similar to a luxury cruise ship. The floors of the main entertainment deck are connected via two external elevators that come with a great view. Each side of the Sky Cruise features three balconies reviewing domes that are perfect for a relaxing time. Here, guests can enjoy a wide range of activities including stargazing and watching Aurora Borealis up close. You don't have to worry about Sky Cruise's carbon footprint. Sky Cruise would allegedly have no carbon impact thanks to 20 electric engines producing clean nuclear energy. Solely by clean nuclear energy, a small nuclear reactor uses a highly controlled fusion reaction to provide the Sky Hotel unlimited energy. Thanks to nuclear energy, the hotel never runs out of fuel and can remain suspended in the air for several years without ever touching the ground. With the Sky Cruise, you don't need to worry about air turbulence. Its navigation systems feature a state-of-the-art command deck that uses artificial intelligence. In addition to directing the spacecraft, AI would foresee and prevent any turbulence, allowing the craft to glide over the turbulence with ease. If turbulence is detected, then the system automatically prevents any vibrations from happening. It creates anti-vibrations that work like a noise-canceling technology, allowing the Sky Cruise to fly with ease. The AI-piloted Sky Cruise will remain airborne for several days or even months. It is designed in a way in which it will never land. Passengers will be picked up and dropped off from their respective destinations. Repair and other maintenance will also be carried out when Sky Cruise is in the air. Everything is engineered to perfection for your own comfort and safety along with an immense travel experience. Say goodbye to jet lag, motion sickness, or the fear of flying into turbulence. Sky Cruise has got you covered in any case of any medical emergencies. The Sky Hotel features a facility equipped with the latest medical technology aimed to keep you safe, healthy, and fit so you can enjoy your journey experiencing without any disruptions. A luxurious flying hotel to remain in the air forever. Imagine this cruiser would be powered, of course, by nuclear energy, guided by artificial intelligence AI, with the latest technology for medical assistance, good food, entertainment, and have a disc-shaped viewing tower where passengers could view amazing skyscrapers from above the clouds, which can last up in the sky forever. This seems unrealistic for now, but this has already been put into work to come into reality. Despite having several large landing wheels, the Sky Cruise barely lands on the surface. Supplies and guests delivered to the hotel using electric commercial planes. The designers also claim that the floating ship could maintain its altitude for years at a time while being accessed by electric private or commercial aircraft that could land on the top of the cruiser and transport people and goods to and from it. Aircrafts which take off from the different airports around the world. All the repairs and maintenance are done above the clouds. The concept was originally designed by Tony Holmstem and reimagined and animated by Hasham al Ghali. Ridiculous but awesome! Would you stay in the giant flying hotel that never lands? However, a plane that boasts 20 nuclear-powered engines, a system to carry out in-flight repairs, and a fully automated system of flight. 
With the climate crisis truly underway alongside uncertain social conditions and political turmoil, one continues to see depictions of future development that may give hope for an improved tomorrow. However, there are always some depictions that teeter the fine line between welcomed improvement and puzzling dystopia. While the sky seems to be the limit for this aircraft, no ambitious project comes into function without a call for concern. Condemned to a similar outcome as the ill-fated Titanic, many have pointed out the faults within the aircraft's design. The primary concern surrounds the structure and layout of the aircraft, which is far from aerodynamic and would therefore have trouble taking flight at all. Others express their nervousness about the nuclear-powered engine since the possibility of the sky crews crashing condemns its surroundings to be destroyed as well. One uncertain to think of that great idea of putting a nuclear reactor in something that could malfunction and fall out of the sky. Concerns were also raised about the exposed elevators on board creating uneven drag, as well as the technical inaccuracies. If physics and aerodynamics didn't exist, then this vessel might actually be able to take off. While the Sky Cruise comes with its own assortment of concerns, it is a concept that is truly ahead of its time. With many exhibiting an eagerness to be amongst the first set of passengers, a formal launch date for the Sky Cruise is yet to be announced. Hope for the future of transport Do you think an ambitious new flying hotel design that never lands could mean that soon we'll all be holidaying in the sky? The impressive feat of engineering could be the future of how we travel. Guests who think landing on an enormous moving plane is a good idea would be able to enjoy more than just a film or two on a tiny screen. Promised luxuries would instead include a 360-degree panoramic platform and an entertainment deck. And thinking as passengers would simply be able to board a flight that would take them back down to Earth if they decided to check out a nearby destination. It's the brainchild of a Berlin-based science enthusiast who has created a concept that is a realistic vision of a fantastical idea of transport. I believe the current flying experience has become tiresome and outdated, and it's time for new inventions that can make our flight experience more comfortable. However, imagining a world where flying from one place to another turned into a joyous experience rather than fighting for leg space, that would be a future of flying, I guess. Anyways, people seem to be excited about the future of flying here. It has a hotel, spa, swimming pool, elevator, sports center, a mall, and much more. But I think Sky Cruise sounds cool as hell. I want to die a glorious death as the Sky Cruise drops thousands and thousands of feet into the endless blue ocean below. On the other hand, there seems to be no understanding of aviation. While some were hopeful that the design could become a reality, most people took an altogether more pessimistic view mainly concerning how the plane would need to defy the laws of aerodynamics. What do you think about Sky Cruise? Do you think it's a concept with no understanding of aviation, flight cycles, aerodynamics, maintenance, airport infrastructure, size to weight ratios, drag, and lots more? It's nice to see people point out the flaws of the design and attempt to propose solutions to them, which is what we need to make it more perfect. It's like a group of people working together on a single project like this. It would go for 2030s or 2040s at least for the possibility of sky crews. All we need is sufficient energy for the takeoff, that's why nuclear energy was part of the design. I believe it's a matter of time before powerful nuclear reactors become small enough to fit inside a plane that size. What do you think of this giant flying hotel? Would it be realistic in the coming years? Let us know in the comments below. Well, if you like this video, then I'm sure you're going to love to watch our video about the worst engineering disasters in world history on our channel. Make sure to click the subscribe button for future notifications and never miss our videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.